All right, we are back here again at the auctions, and look who decided to join me. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm not dead. <laughs> no, which is sad, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Today, we are starting right off the bat. You've probably seen by the title, this is a BMW Bonanza Everything Bavarian Motor Works. Someone's gonna roast me because I don't think that's actually what BMW stands for, but that's what I think it stands for. I guess it's the English translation, isn't it? It's Bavarian. I don't know about Motor Works. Something like that. Something like that. But there are a ton of BMWs at the auction, and um, apparently we've been doing this challenge wrong and we've been playing it easy, so we thought we'd listen to you guys, and a few of you guys said, hey, if you guys want a challenge, you guys should get into some BMWs. I personally, it's probably going to hurt a lot of people's feelings, don't like BMWs too much. Not because they make terrible cars, they do make some pretty awesome cars, but they just seem to break a lot. Yeah, well, I mean, I've owned one once yeah. before. I haven't owned a BMW. I, I've owned a Mercedes. I mean, I went to the dark side. Yeah. My one was pretty sketchy though. So it didn't really paint a good picture for me in terms of BMWs, but... But, starting off nice. the back, this is far nice than yours. Oh yeah. So, if you haven't been paying attention, we have twenty-one thousand two hundred. Something I think. like that. Yeah. Twenty-one thousand two hundred dollars to buy our next car to flip on our way to a Lambo, and we're starting right off the bat with this F30 BMW 335i. Alright, so we are at here at the auctions again. Again, Morgan is finally with us. And we have got this beautiful BMW 335i. Um, right off the bat, we've got some, I don't believe it's real carbon fiber, but carbon fiber-ish kind of fins. It's got these little eyelids, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber eyelids, you can see the clear coat starting to go on them a bit. I love the new style BMW daytime running lights. I think that's that looks that looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. For some reason though, if it was a splitter, you'd think it would have some piece in the middle. But anyway, I digress. Um, carbon eyelids again. The wheels look to be fairly stock. The brakes, you probably see I've got some surface corrosion. You know, not too much to be concerned about. This is the luxury version. Um, they really want to tell you that, hey, this is a motorsport car. Um, coming through the back, I mean, overall the paint work is really nice. Roof, really nice, no dents. Honestly, just needs a really good clean. Um, we've got a little bit of gutter gash. Let me get out of the light there for you. Um, again, logos on the wheels look a bit iffy. But I mean, that's an easy fix though, right? Yeah, you can just get yeah. some center caps and that's, you know, yeah. sorts it all out. Um, here is the rear. You, you wouldn't know that this is a fast car. No. No. So it is currently on at the moment. Um, so that's why you can probably hear it. The wheels on this slide look really good. So somehow the person's only been braking with the right side of the car. But again, we've got more motorsport. Motorsport. I feel like the M badges on the side under the luxury are not factory. It looks a little tacky. But anyway, that's a bit of a walk around of the exterior. The tire tread. Ooh, I don't know if we get away with those tires. Let's take a trip. Actually, before we go inside, we'll pop the hood and show you what makes this car special. Now, this is like the 4 Series. Pull it once, then pull it twice. So this is, I believe, an N55. So this is the engine after the famous German 2J N54. Um, right off the bat, seems just dusty. Let Morgan take that away. Now, BMWs are renowned for oil leaks. And this looks like the first BMW without an oil leak. Uh, let us know down below, is this twin turbo? I don't think so, I can't see a turbo. But... I think I was twin turbo though. Anyway, put the vanity cover back on. Brisbane is hot. I've decided to dress full emo. Uh, we can't, there we go, put down. Now let's get into probably my favorite part about this car. 
All right, now something I just noticed is down the side here, we have a massive R with the on button and a plus and minus. Do you think this car's tuned? I don't know. What, like a, a factory thing or? No, a... no, no, this is aftermarket as, I'll show everyone here. I oh, don't know what no that way. is. What? what do you reckon's in here? Cup holders. No, no, what's in the cup holders? Uh, chocolate. Oh, it's close, it's a treat. <laughs> How much do you, I have to pay you to eat that? I mean, they don't look too bad to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, interior wise, someone please let us know what this thing is. I'm a little scared to turn it off. I, mean, I don't really want to touch it. The display looks really nice. God, it sounds great. Probably should put the handbrake on. Got a big uh, infotainment unit there. Aircon is nice and cold. The trim, I'm undecided on. I kind of yeah. like it. Morgan likes it, but he's always wrong. So um, if we flip this into sport, ooh, sport plus. So uh, we're going to have to definitely get you in for an obligatory sound test. So I'll pass this to Morgan. So let's put your ride here. It sounds pretty good. <laughs> No smoke, nothing? Not a single, yeah, nothing. Oh, also on the floor here. Piece of trim. Piece of trim. Do you know where it's from? No idea. Everything seems intact though. So, BMW 335i. Currently the market of these are your mid to high 20s. Um, this one's got 96,000 kilometers on the clock. Um, it's got service history. I think it's spec'd really well. Um, so, fingers crossed we can get this one within our budget. Um, I think it'll be a stretch, but if we could, oh man, some serious profit here. Um, and that's what we're in the game to do. So, um, yeah. Oh, I forgot. We didn't tell them our last episode where we had a look at the Hummer, the 4 Series, and XR6 Turbo. Hummer, we were way out. There was no way we could afford that. That sold for over 50 grand. So, <laughs> all right, whoopsie. I didn't realize they were worth that much money. Um, the four series, oh, we missed that by a slither. Yeah. So it ended up being sold for, I think it was about 22,000 all up. So obviously we needed a factor in that we've got to register the vehicles, we've got to road where the vehicles, we need to have some cash left over just in case something goes wrong. So, that one was going to be a stretch and the xr6 turbo i had to think about it and just thought look we're really just buying the engine at this point because the rest of the car is rooted um so yeah we let that one go through to the keeper um but today as if this doesn't go for more than our budget i'll be very surprised and i'll buy it oh yeah definitely this is i i think it's probably one of the most solid cars we've seen at the options yeah uh I mean, because I mean, the worst parts about it that I've seen is maybe a little bit of scrape on the on the scooter. Yeah. The and that's about it. Yeah. But, so um, this is just sitting here. We've gone through five kilometers of fuel. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we'll head on to the next car. But this is a solid start, and definitely. boy, I would love to get in one of these. Oh, definitely. On to the next one. Okay, so the next car we're looking at, a <laughs> little emo James there, um, is, you guessed it, another BMW, another 335i. Straight away, look at how nice these wheels are. They're very like BBS kind of style wheel. I feel like it's a very nice kind of classic BMW look to them. But looking around the paint, paint seems pretty good. Everything's got a, I mean, it's, it needs a wash. 
Um, oh yeah, a bit of sun fade just on there. The strip. Yep. Other than that, it's not. Yeah, it's not horrendous. It doesn't seem too bad. Probably should check this first. If uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I have the worst luck. Every car we look at, just always dead. Oh, yes. This interior though. Oh god, there's a bit of a trim missing there. Oh no. It smells. Uh, how do you describe that? like it had an air freshener in about five years ago. Mm. They are quite nice seats, but man, these are ugly. Yep. I hate the cream interior, Some but- very, uh, this. adult entertainment spec. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got power, because you can see there's a light there, and it unlocked, so that's already a great sign. Let's see if it starts. Oh, man, it is a oh no. Stop using, you're wasting the battery. <laughs> it's got seatbelt helpers at work. Oh, we well, uh, warning light. Something it sounds, I, I think the battery is definitely low. Another one bites the dust to Morgan. I spoke too, too soon. <laughs> too soon. Well, the cool thing is this thing works. Oh, it's stuck there now. Yeah, shut the door. Oh, yeah, because the battery's fucked. <laughs> so, okay. but worryingly, right, there's a battery light and an engine light, okay? Yep. Now, it could be that there's a low voltage and that's causing problems in the mm. engine bay. All right, well, I think... <sighs> On to the next I'm, 335i. Yeah. I'm going to call it. Let's go. Let's, yeah. uh, hopefully the next one starts. Yes, fingers crossed. Well, yeah. I'll be starting it, so oh, well, then it, it'll it's work. gonna start. Watch it now, it won't. <laughs> So the third 335i is this one. It's an E92. It's kind of pewter grey, um, and it doesn't have white interior. All right. So what does this 335i hold? Right off the bat. The paintwork seems to be good. It doesn't have sun damage on the roof. Interestingly, the window seal is also deteriorating. It's just not as far gone as the other one. It's got battery at least to... Oh, man, that locked it. There we go. Oh, okay. Being a darker car with dark interior... Oh, man, I'm already getting burnt. <laughs> Ow. Okay. So, oh, this is so hot. All right, let's just jump straight to the aircon. Got an exhaust. It seems to be stumbling a little bit. Is the helper going to get it? Oh, yeah, there we go. So this is the first yeah. 335i where the helpers uh, have actually helped. And remember, safety is paramount. Um, Aircon, please work. So interestingly, while we wait for our root guidance to start up, this has no fault page. You've got your own armrest for the driver, and then you got, I mean, I don't think it moves, but- It's got this again, I don't like this. Oh, is it the phone? It was the phone, it's not there anymore. We won't break it. Oh, that's a bit fancy. Oh, yeah. So there's no middle seat in the back? No. So it's a four-seater. So that cup holder doesn't work. That one does. Come on, you can do it. Again, no engine lights, we'll see. Yep. Feels fine, sounds fine. <laughs> Not as uh, poppy as the other one. 
Um, what, what do you reckon this one or the first one? Because the second one's kind of ruled out. I mean, the first one I think is by far the nicest one. Yeah. It's newer. Yeah. And newer. And yeah. interior is nice because it's got the red cool leather. Yeah. But um, this is probably more achievable, I think. Yeah, I think we could definitely afford this. It's just, will mm. there be enough room in it for us to make money? Yeah. So. I, I give it like a, an 8 out of 10. So good number. Alright, now we got another BMW. Yep. The next one, you guessed it again. <laughs> Is a beamer. Um What's this one? A 320i, so it's not the 335i's, which is like walking those cars. This is, yeah, this is me. I know everything about these cars. It's a 320i. Yeah. CI. I. What does the I mean, Morgan? Hidden line. It means it's the petrol. Damn, I was close. <laughs> I, actually, I felt pretty good about that answer. <laughs> um, but this is it. It's quite nice. <laughs> You can see by the camera a bit of swirl marks, but besides that, the paint, the paint's pretty good. Yeah. It's also got on, like you would have seen this before, the wheels are beautiful. Yeah, and you see that fitment? Oh, that's that is, yeah, like James said, fat. it's fat. Yeah, <laughs> fat with a pH. This is a two door, um, oh, four door, sorry. <laughs> oh, good, <those> cars. <laughs> <laughs> so what how's the tread going i see you testing the tread it feels pretty good i mean it's dirty. It's, it's dirty but it's a lot nicer just because it's not cream um, and then there's no you know, trim that you know james I'm hates i'm breaking that. the ships oh no i don't quite get it. so there's yeah, a little bit of i don't know what that is plastic or something What's your favourite? Well, I think easily the first one. <laughs> it's just, it ticked every box. There was, there was nothing really I could say bad about it. Um, there was a bit of damage on the lip, but really that, I don't think it, it, would, it would like even warrant changing that. Yeah. You'd probably just run it like that. Um, it's just, again, it, it comes down to the prices. Like I said, that 4 Series, 22 grand. Um, it's, that was a, like not a base model 4 series, but a kind of mid-range. So with like that to go off, maybe we could get the new one. Yeah. Maybe. I think this one's probably more reasonable. Um, the others as well, more reasonable. And because the others were 335 eyes, they're turbo, they're rear wheel drive, just a bit more, you know, yeah. uh, a bit more interesting. Um, but the only thing will be is we can take the covers off, but does it have an oil leak? Because yeah. BMWs always have oil leaks, as we found on this one. They, had oil they, they either leak oil or they burn oil. Yes, and I think this one's doing both. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Morgan still wants to buy it. No one does. No, I pick the covers. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, BMWs. I'm still not a fan. Yeah, I think the newer ones are definitely nice. Like that other yeah. one we, was a very nice car. The yeah. four, was it four series? No, 335. The first one. 335, yeah. It was a very nice car. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to this one, the gold base one, I don't know. It seems more cheap and plasticky and... Mm. I don't know. Yeah. So let us know down below which BMW would you get? Are we stupid? Should we not be making things harder than they need to be for ourselves? <laughs> because if I had my way, probably would steer clear of the lot. Mm. Except for the first one. I think yeah. the first one's a pretty safe bet. Except for the fact that it could be potentially got a tune on it. Because there was oh, that yeah. dongle thing that it didn't. Yeah. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all things Lemon to Lambo. We are buying it. Uh, there's a little, 
Lower, auto. lower the revs. What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It keeps you up to date. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit like. And most importantly, let us know down below which 335i slash 20i should we get. Hmm. Um, God, I hope the first one. Yeah. <sighs> if, if that went in the budget. That's a I'd almost see, car. even if we're like only got $100 to spare, I think it might be. Go for it. Like, yeah, go for yeah, it. Man. Again, it hasn't even got a hundred thousand Ks. Like, that's a new car for us, or for me. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, we're blabbering. We'll see you in the next Lemons Lambo. Hopefully, we've got a BMW. I really hate that I said that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. We'll see you in the next one.